Ryan Little. My name is Kimmy K. I'm going to be doing a, another hair tutorial for you guys today. Um, if this is your first time, make sure you oh my god, I can't even speak. Make sure to subscribe down below as well as like this video. You like videos like this, and leave me any comments that I did not answer. So this way is gonna be from one more hair.com. Um, as you can see in the box, you do get a um comb you get the baby hair comb the wig cap which i do have on right now um a hair care guide showing you how to take care of your wig and then of course the wig so as you can see by starting off this is a pretty pretty color um the color name is gonna be p4 slash 27 it's just a um piano hair color highlighted wig so on their site it will show up as a human hair piano color wig highlight transparent lace part wig this is going to be your t part so you do have two combs on the um top one comb in your back with adjustable straps and it is just going to be just a lace part wig so they do give you baby hairs in the front and then the lace is going to be transparent so as you can see it is very very transparent Right now, I'm just going to start out by plucking that um, lace part. The part is very closed in, and I do want to go ahead and open it up. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to go in with my foundation. Um, this is the only foundation I use on my lace wigs because it helps to blend into my skin. So that is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation in the shade 765 Tawny. Um, there's a little bit of lace on the front, so you necessarily could just use a powder if you want to, but because it's so transparent, I feel like the foundation will seep into the lace more versus the powder. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, the length on this wig is going to be 24 inches. It is their deep wave texture, and like I said, the color is P4 slash 27. Uh, on this side, it is showing that this unit is going to be $203.79. Um, I will have a coupon code down in the description box below that you can go ahead and use that will go ahead and save you some money. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the lace. Since it's just a lace part wig, I'm just cutting as close to the um, lace as I can. So I'm not going to leave any lace since it's just basically like a little lace part wig. For this um, lace wig, the knots um, are already bleached, um, and then it is 150% density. Um, if you want it to be a little bit more thicker, then you can go ahead and contact customer service, and I'll go ahead and get the um, density more thicker. Uh, with this unit, the 150 is more on like a very natural side. If you was to straighten out this hair, it will be like very, very, very natural. So that's what the unit looks like with the um, foundation. Um, I did go ahead and tighten up the knots just a little bit and then I am going to be um, putting the combs in in a little bit. So as you can see, that's what it looks like. It does lay on the um, head flat. You do not have to use any spray or anything to go ahead and hold this unit down. It's an easy throw on and go, you know, kind of unit after you do get it styled. So right now I'm just going to be using my Care Care Wax Stick to go ahead and flatten the um, top down. I do want the top flattened down so that you can see the part. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my hot comb. My hot comb is on the highest it can go and I just want to go ahead and flatten out the top. I'm not going to take the hot comb too far down because I'm not trying to take out the uh, wave pattern. I just want the 
um, part just to kind of show. So as you see, once you do part that part, part the part, once you do plug the part, you can see that that is a um, deep part. So the part, it looks about like five inches, I want to say. So it, it, you do get a deep part. But you know, once we did first open up the box, it was not as deep as that. So make sure to plug your um, part just to go ahead and get it natural. Now that I have my um, part flat, I am just putting in the cons because now I can see how I want my unit, you know, where I want it to lay at. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and work on the baby hairs. With this kind of color, I particularly don't do baby hairs, but I did want the front, since it's just like a lace part, I wanted the front to be a little bit more um, natural. So I am going to plug and leave just a little bit of baby hairs. Probably after this video, I might just take all of that out and just have it like bare lace because like I said, I want it to lay natural. So the baby hairs I have, they are very, very, very short. And I did thin this out. So yeah, so I'm gonna use some edge control to go ahead and lay those down. Like you see, they got really, really short. I just went ahead and thin them out just a bit more. And then I'm just gonna be applying some smooth, brushing the hair out. The hair looks pretty fluffy like this. I really, really like it like that. So with this hair, um, I didn't get any tangling. Um, you are going to get a lot of shit. It is a colored unit. And I did just take it out of the box. I did not wash it, so. You know, make sure to wash your unit first to get all that loose hair out, brush your hair, everything else. And we did pluck it, so that's why we do have all that shit. So basically, that is how the unit looks, just with a little bit of mousse. Um, that was it. So like I said, it does have a natural density to it, and it is a pretty, pretty color. I will leave the links down below on where you can purchase this unit at. So thank you once again to One More Hair for sending me out this deep wave unit to review. It is such a gorgeous unit. I will leave the links down below on where you can purchase this unit. And so if you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, leave those down below. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And this look right here will also be posted if you do like the makeup. So yeah, thank you. Bye.